So it looks like we've got a new hotel coming to space as well as Universal in Orlando has announced the opening date of their new park. So let's talk about these. Hey everyone, welcome. Today is Tuesday, October the 22nd. I hope you are having a great day. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about a space hotel that I found um, since I did the last video about a 3D printed hotel, which I thought was pretty cool, I think this is a step above. It's also going to be very exclusive if you have the money to do this right off the bat. It is going to be pretty pricey. It looks like a space construction company called Orbital Assembly Corporation has been working on a new space hotel that will accommodate guests up in space. Known as the Voyager Station, the new hotel is going to be within a space station. It is going to be 124,861 square feet and includes room for up to 400 guests. The structure will consist of an unpressurized ring with a central hub. Around that, a further outer ring is going to be connected with spoke. The ring is gonna be divided into 24 different areas and uh, it's gonna contain anything you could possibly want from a luxury hotel. It sounds like a pretty cool concept. I'm curious who wants to go to space. I know it sounds really awesome, but the process of getting there gets, sounds a bit scary. The design includes modern rooms, bars, restaurants, fitness facilities, and more. Although unlike a regular hotel, there is going to be a section designed for scientific research specifically. During the day, the sports areas will be available for sports and at night they plan on turning those into concert venues. So there may be some some of your favorite bands visiting up there, which I think is really awesome. The gravity on board is going to be about one sixth the equivalent of what we have here on earth. There won't be anything floating around up there, but anyone with the money will be able to look down on earth and uh, see us all down here while they are enjoying their luxury vacation up in space. Just adding another luxury layer on to vacationing here. I think this is a really cool concept. I will be interesting to see it come to fruition. I'm curious to hear your comments on whether or not you would travel up to space at this point or if you're gonna wait a few years and see how it pans out for everybody else that decides to go on up. Initially, the cost of it is probably going to be prohibitive, but in the future, they are hoping to make it affordable in the way that Disneyland is currently affordable. So not so cost prohibitive. We'll see how that goes, but we'll continue following this story on the Space Hotel and see how far along they get in their process. It is scheduled to open in 2026 which is not that far away. We are almost in 2025, so that should be really, really fascinating and coming up very soon. Next on the agenda, Universal has announced the opening of their new theme park, Epic Universe, which is now set to open May 22nd, 2025, so not too far away, just ahead of Memorial Day. The new park is set to be the largest of the three, and it will more than double the size of the footprint that is currently there. Right now, there are two theme parks and a water park, so this is going to add on to those. The new park, Epic Universe, is going to have five different areas, one of them being another Harry Potter area. There is already Harry Potter in both of Islands of Adventure and Universal. They're also gonna add a Super Nintendo World, which we were fortunate enough to visit when we were over in California. This is going to be a really neat addition to the park. If you wanna see that video, I will link it up into the corner here, as well as down below, so you can check that out. But we had a lot of fun while we were there. As well, they are going to add in a How to Train Your Dragon section, Dark Universe and Celestial Park. Only vacation packages with three-day tickets are going to be able to access this. They go on sale today. And they are saying that those three-day tickets are going to cost anywhere between $378 and $554 per person, and that's after tax. So current Universal Orlando pass holders are going to get priority access to single-day tickets at the park starting October 24th, so Thursday. And uh, additional ticket options, including single day tickets for the general public are going to be sold in the months coming up. As part of this new release, they are also opening a new 500 room hotel, Universal Helios Grand Hotel. That is set to also open May 22nd and uh, they have begun taking reservations today. So if you're interested in being one of the first to stay in this hotel, you need to get 
online or call in today and set up your vacation. Are you someone that likes to go right away or do you prefer to have all of the, the kinks and bumps worked out of it before you arrive? You'll have to let me know down in the comments below. As for today's travel news, that is going to do it. So thanks everybody for coming along. We will catch you guys all in the next video.